Well, hey guys, uh, here is another one of my vlogs. Um, by the way, please subscribe. You see the subscribe button down the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you knew, but I kind of have a thing for Captain America. And although I'm English, I'm sort of Captain Anglo-America. So I spent a lot of money on the Captain America stuff. And uh, first of all, what do you know about Captain America? Uh, this is a guy who was started since the 1960s. 1964 was the first time that he appeared. Uh, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby actually uh, invented the character in the 1940s as a World War II character. Although he wasn't the very first Marvel character, he was the first character in the Marvel Universe, if that makes any sense. So. What have I done to make myself into Captain America? Well, I went down and got my hair cut like Captain America in San Diego at my favorite barber, Alex, at the Dover. And then I bought some gear. I got the uh, Captain America jacket. I got the Captain America backpack that looks like the shield, the helmet, and the gloves. And then these aren't exact replicas, but Captain America has undergone more changes than any other Marvel character. So I'm turning myself into Captain America. What else do I need to become Captain America? the motorcycle that he rode in the movie. All right, so here it is. This is the Captain America motorcycle. Um, there's a few changes. This is, by the way, the uh, Harley Davidson 750 Street, or Street 750. Um, I have engine guards, which is a fancy name for crash bars. Uh, they like to call them engine guards because people don't crash or have Harley Davidsons. I also have a lowered saddle because um, I have a 24 inch inseam and I'm kind of short. Now the engine is a, a liquid-cooled Revolution X V-Twin, and this color is denim black, which is basically matte black color, and I, this is kind of like the coolest color they have. I'm gonna do lots more Captain America stuff to it. I'd like red rims on the wheels and some Captain America stuff. Maybe we'll paint some stuff uh, blue and red on it. We're just gonna see uh, how this kind of comes over in the next few months about how Captain America I want it to feel. Maybe different handlebars and that sort of thing. So this car has a single port injection. Uh, the big deal about it is my last bike was about uh, a third of the weight. Uh, this is almost 500 pounds and with the extras I put on it's probably at least 500 pounds in weight. Um, it's a very cool bike. It's pretty small for a Harley Davidson but it has a lot of punch. My friends who have ridden it who have big Harleys like Road Kings said uh, although a tiny bike big punch. So what say I get dressed up as Captain America and we go for a ride. All right, so first thing is uh, the Captain America jacket. The problem is my arms are kind of short, so this is actually the right size, but the sleeves are a little long for it. So, so uh, I put red pants on especially today. There's not much breathing room in this once I've, I've zipped it up. Uh, next thing is put the uh, Captain America backpack on. This actually doesn't have anything in it, but you could technically it is a backpack, so you can put stuff on. All right. How does that look? Do I look more Captain America? All right. Uh, helmet. I bought this helmet specifically because it looks like Captain America. Uh, the cool thing about this helmet is I should just show you here. It has its own uh, has its own sunglasses in it, which you can make come up and down just by the flick of a switch. So this is going to ruin my uh, my hair. I have to take my glasses off. Not Captain America glasses yet, because I couldn't find any, but I will buy some. Put my helmet on. Uh, this is how I do my helmet. Everyone disagrees that you should do this, but it's the most comfortable way of buckling for me. All right, and then if I want the sunglasses down, there you go, I have the sunglasses down. Face shield down. I can lift the wind up. Um, finally, I've got to put the glasses on. All right, because otherwise I'll be blind. All right, and then finally, these are uh, these are actually monster gloves, and they're kind of summer summer riding gloves. They're kind of cool because they have little vents in the knuckles there, so like that. So uh, gloves, because you can't put your gloves on until you put your helmet on. Try putting your helmet on with gloves on.